Hello, hello, my friends. I am back with one more candle review for this week. Today, we are going to be talking about Bath & Body Works Citrus Grove. Now, this is a candle that I purchased last weekend during the $12.95 Mother's Day candle sale. And it was one that I was intrigued by because A, I love citrus fragrances, and also B, it was being marketed as a quote unquote new fragrance. But we all know with Bath & Body Works, oftentimes they love a good repackage and they don't always let us know that it is. So let's go ahead and talk about this candle. Um, first off, we're gonna talk about the packaging here. I actually like this packaging. I think it's very simplistic, um, but not as simple as like say their neutral blends line, but I do like it. I kind of like the, um, it kind of reminds me of like maybe some pottery that I would see maybe in the Mediterranean. It's got some of that, like, it looks like a painted design on it. Um, I, I think it's nice, you guys. And we've got even a little bit of, you know, uh, I don't know what this print is, kind of like a damask print kind of on the side here, um, but it's it's really nice, you guys. This is their standard three wick, 14 and a half ounce vessel. I believe that this candle retails for $26.50, but like I said, you guys never ever pay full price for a Bath & Body Works candle. I feel like they run sales on them almost every weekend, so there's no need to spend full price. And honestly, even though I didn't have the 20 or 25% off coupon, I did have a 10 off of 30 coupon. And so I felt like I paid a pretty fair price for Bath and Body Works candles. All right. So the fragrance notes on this are listed as freshly picked orange, sparkling citrus, and lemon twist. So a couple of you guys commented on my Bath and Body Works haul video that um, I believe that you said it was Kent from the Candle Channel that said that this is a repackage of fresh orange. And it's funny, you guys, I'm trying to recall if I had the fresh orange candle. I am pretty sure that I did at some point, just because I do typically like orange fragrances and that probably would have been a candle that I would have purchased, but I don't have a review of it on my channel. And truthfully, you guys, I am not one of the content creators who really keeps a large collection. Like I'm not somebody who keeps candles to compare them to from years past. Um, I just don't really have the space for that in my home. But like I said, there's a bunch of people here in the candle community who are really good at that. And um, I would always direct you towards them if you are wanting to know if they are direct repackages. So I personally cannot say that, um, that this is a repackage because I don't have the one that it's being compared to in front of my nose to sniff. However, I will tell you that this fragrance does seem familiar to me from Bath & Body Works. Like I'm smelling it and I'm like, yeah, I think I have smelled this before. It is not sun-washed citrus to my nose. I will put that out there. In fact, I think that the candle that they repackaged this year as the sun-washed citrus, which is the same fragrance, you guys, as the Capri, is it Capri Blue Volcano, Kringle Candles Essentials, Yankee Iceberry Lemonade, the candle at Bath & Body Works, if they still have it in stock that I think mimics sun-washed citrus is... Um, the sweet orange and agave. I think that is more of um, in line with the sun wash citrus. This to me is definitely an orange citrus note, but what I am picking up in here that is not really listed in the fragrance accords, there is kind of like a woody stem element that I am picking up in this candle. I mentioned it in the Bath and Body Works haul, but I do live in Arizona. And so we do have actually quite a few citrus trees um, here because in uh, this climate, especially in the winter time, that's when a lot of our citrus plants come into season. And, um, so I am familiar with kind of like what a citrus tree smells like, what a uh, fruit, you know, particularly an orange smells like when you freshly pick it off of the tree. And I would say that whatever they're putting in there for the accord to give you the idea that this is a freshly picked orange is pretty accurate. I definitely smell orange for sure, but this is not the same orange fragrance that I am getting, say from Kringle Candles Reserve Orange, whereas that smells like you just cut into like a freshly, a fresh orange. This to me feels like I just picked the orange off of the tree and I'm lifting up the orange and smelling it to my nose. I'm getting a little bit of the wooden stem still on the orange. I'm getting kind of the orange peel fragrance, but it's not really like I cut into an orange and I'm smelling the actual citrus fruit inside, like the meat of an orange itself. That sounded kind of weird, you guys, to say the meat of an orange, but you guys know what I'm saying. 
In terms of sparkling citrus, I don't get anything sparkling or really effervescent about this fragrance to me. Like I said, you guys, it just smells like a freshly picked orange. You get a little bit of that woody earthiness, and that actually really comes out a lot more upon burn than I even smelled it on cold. When I smelled this candle on cold, I actually thought that it would compare very much to the Kringle Candle Reserve Orange fragrance that was just released in April. However, when they're burning, they're two very different fragrances. And like I said, the kind of that um, woody note comes out a little bit more on this candle when it is burning. Do I like the fragrance? Yes. Um, is it something completely new to me? No. Um, is it one that I feel like I need to hoard? No. Um, there are some other orange fragrances that I think I'm enjoying a little bit more, but it's one that I will enjoy for the time that I am burning it. Um, you guys will be seeing next week, I will be reviewing the Homeworks Blood, is it Blood Orange and Sage Gimlet candle. Um, and right now, the trio that I have going on in my house right now, I'm the type of person that I usually like to have a fragrance burning, usually in my living room, one in my bedroom, and then in one of my kids' rooms on the other side of the house. And then that way I can kind of just get like a whole vibe going throughout the entire house. So this right now is part of a trio where I'm burning this one. I will anchor the Blood Orange and Sage Gimlet in my living room. And then I'll also be burning the Kringle Candle Reserve Orange. And that combo, you guys, is chef's kiss perfection if you love good orange like good fresh orange citrus in your home you don't want it to smell like a cleaner but you want that good like juicy fruity orange type of fragrance i would highly recommend that all right let's go ahead and talk about the performance because you guys know this is where bath and body works tends to be hit or miss with me so i'm going to go ahead and lift up the candle here so you can see i've got good wicks here now i have not touched them i have not um trimmed the wicks. You can see that one wick, like kind of towards the bottom there, is a little bit close to the edge. I am finding that that one, I kind of have to move back towards the center after I extinguish this candle with a wick dipper. That is my preferred method. Um, and you can see even a tiny little bit of soot, like in the wax and maybe a little bit on the rim of the, um, of the vessel there, just because you know, Bath and Body Works candles do kind of do that. They are my sootiest candles, I will say. However, at this point in the burn, it is not altering the fragrance. Typically with my Bath and Body Works candles, um, there have been a few that they will get that sooty smell. It's usually if they develop puny wicks, like if that burn really slows down at the midway point, then I'll usually detect that sooty smell a little bit more. But um, usually like I'm, I'm thinking like when the flames are strong like this, if a sooty smell is gonna come out, it's probably gonna be on like the last two burns maybe of the candle, but so far so good for me. In terms of strength and throw on this candle, I'm gonna give it without a hurricane. I'm gonna give it about a five, you guys. Um, it fills up these smaller like bedrooms pretty well without a hurricane. I can smell it. Is it like smack me in the face scent? No, but it is definitely noticeable. And um, I, you know, I know that it's in there. I would say if I put a hurricane on this candle, it's a solid seven. So last night I was burning it in my living room with a hurricane on. And while it filled up the living room pretty well, it did not really throw into the kitchen, which is open concept next to the living room. Um, now for, you know, I always feel like my reviews get very verbose, you guys, because I always give like the dimensions of my home, just because I never know what new viewers are going to come across these reviews. And I do feel like I want to give a very full and accurate um, candle review. Like I, I really want you guys to have an understanding of where I'm coming from when I rank how well a candle is performing for me. So here is the drum roll, <laughs> all of the, the info that I always give. I do live in Arizona, which is a hot, dry climate right now. Right now, the internal temperature of my home is in the mid to low 70s. I do have ceiling fans and air conditioning going on because outside it's anywhere between 85 and 90 degrees during the daytime. Um, I have a, an approximately 1800 square foot home. It is single story. It was built 20 years ago. High ceilings in the living room, like 20 foot high ceilings in the living room opens up to the kitchen, but the bedrooms are more closed concept with nine foot high ceilings. Like I said, it's a very dry climate. We don't have a lot of humidity here. And I, the reason I always give you guys all of that information is because I feel like all of those factors can greatly impact a candle's performance. In addition to the fact that you guys, fragrance is very subjective, strength and throw is very subjective, and I'm just telling you guys, this is what my nose detects. So 
a seven with a hurricane, a five, I would say without one, which is also why you guys, to me, I just feel like this fragrance while I enjoy it, it's not backup worthy for me. It's not unique enough that I feel like I would really, really miss it if it were not in my collection going forward. Um, so that's gonna be up to you guys. Let me know in the comment box down below. Is this a candle that you have purchased recently? Is it one that you are enjoying? What do you think about the strength and throw? How is it performing in your home? I always encourage lots of input on these reviews because I feel like my voice is just one of many within the candle community. And just because you don't have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or anything where you're officially reviewing candles, you can still have a voice. Um, and we all appreciate that. I know that I do. I oftentimes get a lot of recommendations from my comment section. So I do encourage you to chime in as long as you're respectful of myself and others. Um, I do want to say that if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Katie. I would love it if you subscribe. I do lots of candle content here on my channel. So if you are somebody who enjoys home fragrance, particularly candles, I think that you would like sticking around for my content because not only do I do dedicated reviews like this, I do a lot of hauls, empties. I have a candle collection series. I have a candle chat series where I give a lot of recommendations for candles that I like to burn together. So if you like candle content, I think you would like to stick around. Please also hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. That helps me out with the old YouTube algorithm. And I do want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. Until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.